Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell by the title, this is going to be more of a serious type of video, and I've always wanted to talk about this topic on my channel, but I honestly didn't know when or if I'd be able to talk about it because it is something that's such a sensitive topic and is something that my family had to go through. So it is a very emotional topic for myself and also my family. Over this past weekend, my family and I attended the Princess Margaret Home Lottery, and it occurs every single year, and my family and I partake in it every single year and it's just a small little thing that we do small thing that we do to give back to the cancer research foundation because it is something that is really important to my family and I I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about it just so I can bring awareness but I'm also gonna talk about my own personal little story I'm not gonna go in too much in depth and I'm just going to explain everything. It used to be called the Princess Margaret Hospital. It is now the Princess Margaret Cancer Center and it is the biggest cancer research I believe program in Canada and pretty much every single year they hold this lottery and you can win a bunch of different prizes. One of the big prizes is you can win a mansion which I took a house tour and I'll show you guys at the end. It's seriously beautiful. You definitely need to look at it because that house was beautiful. You could also win a cottage and there's a bunch of other prizes but pretty much what it is is it's for a good cause and that's why that's what's really important and that's why we really do it. So every lottery ticket is $100 per person so my family and I donate 100 per ticket and it goes to cancer research and cancer is something that's really important in my family the topic of cancer is someone very 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 close in my family I had to struggle with cancer specifically thyroid cancer and it's very hard for me to talk about this because cancer is just something for some reason I never thought someone in my family would suffer with cancer a lot of people deal with it and a lot of people suffer with it and it's horrible and I wish it didn't exist but it does and all we can do is donate we can bring awareness we can do all these little things to help bring awareness and donations to find cures for cancer to find better research for cancer and that's really what I'm trying to do here it's really unfortunate and I'm so sorry if you have someone currently or if you're dealing with cancer because I know it's seriously so horrible and I kind of just want to bring awareness so if anyone lives in my area or you can even do so many other things there's so many different charity events there's so many different things you can do to bring awareness and I think it's really important to give back right now I'm healthy and I'm happy and I have my health and some people don't have their health and a lot of us take advantage of it until something bad happens to our health and then we start realizing I should have not took advantage of myself when I wasn't healthy when I was healthy so I think it's really important to forget that and to realize that we need to do things. We only have this one life and we need to give back. Help the less fortunate, help those that aren't healthy. It's, it's not good to live a life and just care about yourself. It's good to care about other people and I've watched someone suffer with cancer and have to go through treatments to help the cancer. And what really hurt me is that when um, my family member found out they had cancer, they didn't know right away because when they went to a doctor and had a lump, the doctor just ignored it and said that it's nothing, oh, you're being silly. And then a year later found out that yes, it was cancerous and that it was something. And that really bothers me to this day because it could have been caught so much earlier. So I kind of just wanted to bring this up and um, kind of tell you guys that if you're dealing with it, I have Instagram, I have Twitter, I have Snapchat, I even have my business email and if you're dealing with someone that has cancer in your family or if you have cancer or something, you can always try and reach out to me and I will get do my best to get back to you because I know this is something that is very so emotional and so hard to deal with and even for me, it's very hard for me to deal with and as you guys may be able to tell, it's really hard for me to talk about because it's easy for me to talk about if I'm suffering but I'd rather see myself suffer than to watch another family member suffer so horribly and I know how you feel useless you feel like you can't do anything about it when you see someone else in your family suffering and it's something that you wonder why why did this happen I really hope this inspired you guys I'll leave a bunch of links to the Princess Margaret Cancer Center down below all the stuff about the home lottery that they're doing just get yourself educated do little things you can donate that really would make a big difference any little thing even if you think it's so little 
every little thing makes a difference and I hope that this inspires you and please share this. Let's get the message out there. There's things we can do as people. Even if we think we're nobodies, we can do things. Donating even a little bit is better than donating nothing at all. And if all of us just do that, then that's going to make a big difference in this world. And obviously I wish cancer didn't exist and it does and it's a horrible thing. I wish it never did because I've seen firsthand how it is for someone to suffer with it and how heartbreaking it is and some people don't make it through and some people make it through and it's just the whole thing is just so heartbreaking. So hope you guys are having a fabulous day and I'm just gonna get into the little home tour for you guys. I thought it'd be fun to include it at the end and then if you guys want to participate in it next year as well if you didn't end up doing it this year definitely do so but there's also a bunch of other things that you can you can participate in so get yourself educated and let's just get into the house tour. Mm -hmm. 